Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to dish end and shell modeling in PV Elite for vertical vessel with explanations why. Our flagship courses are Master Static Equipment Design and PVE Light ASME Section 8 Division 2 and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs. So do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. The components will be selecting SI ASME okay, because that is the preferred unit for us. So now, which element I need to take first? I'll start with the bottom. So bottom most part will be what will be the bottom most part of my equipment? Below addition, there will be support also. So shall I support? start with the support it's a vertical vessel vertical vessel can be supported by leg support can be supported by a skirt support which one you will prefer and why for this equipment which dia is 1100 that is the dia right for this so let me see the diameter is 1100 okay so for 1100 diameter and 3500 height what will be your preferred support what will be the preferred type of support leg support right why what is the criteria which you are using when we should go for leg support and when we should go for skirt. Skirt is definitely a proper support. You can anytime give that, but that is a costly affair. Okay. So if equipment can be supported by leg, that will be preferred. Okay. So if you follow the guideline, which is given in Bedner, up to equipment diameter 1.8 meter, okay. you can design based on legs. 1.8 meter okay so that is the first criteria and second h by d ratio less than five so h by d ratio if it is becoming more than five even for diameter less than 1.8 still you'll be preferring skirt support okay if none of it is exceeding we can go with leg support okay so if if it would have been a skirt support, I could have started with the skirt directly. Can I start with the leg directly? This is the leg support. Can I start with the leg without having any element? The answer is no, that is not activated, right? So for that, I need to first select a component and then it will become active. Okay? On the descent, if I want to provide the leg support, I can select that. Or if I want to make on the shell, I will be selecting the shell. Make sense? So let us first try to provide the input for this uh, addition. Okay, so I'll call it as bottom head. Okay, that is the name which I'll give it. Electrical, the inside diameter is 1100. Okay, straight face 50 mm. Thickness, I'll not provide now because i don't i have not provided the input of pressure and temperature okay neither material i have provided corrosion allowance 3 mm let me see what was given 3 mm is the corrosion allowance so we can follow that okay, it's 3 mm external there is no corrosion allowance wind diameter multiplier is just for considering 20 percent extra wind load uh, to account for the nozzles and other things coming into play. So it will increase the area. Okay. So we take always 1.2. If client is giving any other factor, you have to use that. Long seam efficiency. Now this will depend what is the type of radiography which you are having. Okay. So based on that, you can select from the three dots. Okay. There is a three dots which is mentioned. So you can select from this option. If you are using full radiography and the type is one, type one means the weld is having full penetration. So full penetration 
butt weld with full radiography you can give you can select this option okay so this is for long sims same you can select for the sir sim also okay now if there are multiple sims coming okay you can decide the position also the longitudinal well sims where it will be located okay so for decent if that is not applicable for shell this option we can provide okay. so we'll leave this till here we we'll say okay okay so based on whatever we have selected that efficiency will be automatically coming okay you don't have to provide it again internal pressure is uh, 2.75 in mpa temperature is uh, 80 degrees celsius external pressure 0.1 we can take standard value 80 mm as the external temperature head factor it's 2 is 2 an ellipsoidal head which i'm taking so i can use 2 if i am using any other type which is not 2 is 2 1 then i can change this factor so that is the data for the element okay make sense yes so if material is carbon steel okay and there is no other application or guideline given we can go with 5.6 grade 70 okay if something is additionally required like if a nace is required or source service is there that requirement additionally has to be mentioned okay otherwise we can go with uh, selection and whenever you are going with any selection of a material like 516 get the approval from client okay so material selection is important data but uh, we need to first we can select if the data is available if not then we can take confirmation from client external pressure one bar why one bar external pressure because it's a full vacuum so if it's a full vacuum one bar will be applicable okay if not full vacuum then it won't be required so in our case full vacuum is mentioned you can see 27.5 bar gauge and full vacuum that means it will be 0.1 for the that you need to have good experience in materials okay it's not a thumb rule which you can follow so you need to have a metallurgist which you can you know study so normally these things are done by the client as a vendor we are not supposed to do that but if the guideline is simple like it's just a carbon steel nothing is mentioned we can do the selection okay so some guideline are there which are very basic but apart from that you have to be see material science is a very big chapter okay there is no direct thumb rule which you can use for selecting so okay hope it makes sense so bottom head okay uh that is the data we have provided now okay now i'll be providing uh, before providing the second element we'll check the thickness okay finished and nominal we have to provide right so you can see once i select that element the t required means it's the internal pressure thickness requirement thickness required because of internal pressure and that is 13.97 mwp is definitely less because thickness we have selected is less mapnc does not make sense now it will make sense only when we provide the thickness for external pressure only 5.8 mm thickness is required so now what i should put as a finished thickness what will be the finished thickness for this descent 14 mm okay something which is more than this 13.97 so i'll take 14 as a minimum and to achieve 14 mm after forming i need a little higher thickness okay so simple logic 10 percent is what followed so if the nominal thickness is 16 10 percent thinning may happen okay if you want the exact table Dennis Moss, uh, there is a table which you can refer okay, for thinning allowance. So we normally follow 10%, so we can go as per that. Okay. 
when you say TR, the TR is calculated with corrosion allowance. Okay. So when I'm selecting 14, it is taking care of that. Okay. Next it. So now that is done. Okay. Uh, thickness is provided. Now you can see uh, it has the red mark has disappeared from the T required because now you have provided a thickness which is more. Okay. So now you can add shell element. Okay. I'll call it as shell. So what is the length of the shell which I need to add? The total length of tan to tan is 3500. So what do you think will be the length of the shell? 3500. Okay. 3400. 3500 minus 100. 50 50 for the straight face of the descent. With that I'll subtract 50 mm from here. 50 mm from the top. So 3400 will be the total length of the shell element. But now, can I make this shell element by a single element? Or it will be prepared in two separate plates. What do you think? Any sarsim will be coming between the shells or not? Shell will be made in two parts or one part? two parts right because the length of the shell is the width of the plate available in market so you won't be able to get 3400 width plate okay so you can select maybe 2000 or 2400 3000 also you can get but that is uh, difficult to get okay. and it will be costlier also 3000 width so here, if I just divide 3400, I need 1700 as a width. Okay. So, depending upon the nozzles, also, I can decide what should be my length of the element. Is it making sense what I'm saying? Depending upon the nozzles. Okay. So, if nozzles are coming, I'll try to select you know, if there are multiple nozzles. I'll try to select Sarsim where there are no nozzles. Okay, so if I'm keeping the Sarsim at this location and it is coming at the nozzle elevation, that is not a correct thing to do. Okay. So we'll be selecting our uh, width of the plate accordingly. Okay. So now we can select 2000. Let us take one. So for this, we can take 2000 as a length i'll call it as shell one because now there will be two shells which will be coming okay. or if you want you can call it as bottom shell and top shell okay. cylinder id see now most of the data will be already taken from the previous tab so that is perfectly fine length we have already provided thickness will come and update We'll see the thickness, 3 mm, material is sufficient. Sim is also sufficient, but now I want to provide the long sim location because this is a shell. So you'll be having a long sim. Okay. So how many long sims will be there? How many long sims? The diameter is only 1100. So one long sim is good enough. So if it's one sim, then let us keep at somewhere at 45 degree or 135, right? So that if I'm keeping at zero, there are chances that nozzle will be coming on that. So we try to keep it off centric, you know, right? Neither 90 nor zero. So maybe 45 degree we can take. Okay. This will be zero. Okay. Only one long sim. So I'll say apply the changes you can see now long sim coming at 45 degree i'll say okay okay now you can see the log sim which is coming on the 45 degree okay so we have provided that the internal pressure 
everything is taken from the lesion itself. So not a problem. Again, I'll select this. See, TR required is 14.16. Okay. That means how much finished thickness will be required? Something more than 14.16. It's a shell. So you don't need any thinning. So you can provide, if I'm taking 16 mm nominal plate, the finished thickness also will be 16. Okay. So again, mention 16 and 16. If you want to take 15, that also you can mention. Okay. But that is not expected. But you can do that. Okay. So that is for the second shell. Now I'll be adding one more shell, which I can call it as shell two. The, this length will be 1400. Okay. Then total now we have 3400. All the rest of the data will be there. Only I need to update the long seam. So for shell two, again, I'll be having only one long seam and I can keep that at 135. So, so apply change and say, okay. Okay, so now this is the long seam location for the next shell. Okay, after that, I'll be providing a ellipsoidal head at the top. So I've selected a ellipsoidal head. I'll call it as top head. Okay. Agni is perfectly fine. The straight length, I'll be keeping 50 mm. Okay. So, see if the descent is welded by two parts, that efficiency will have to change. Efficiency will be changed accordingly. You won't be able to see that weld seam on the top. Okay. If you are you know, asking for that. So internal corrosion lines, everything will remain same. Okay. okay. All perfectly fine. Finish thickness, I'll change it to 14. Okay. Because it's a descent. So now all the elements are added. For in-depth training. And to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.